I've seen several questions about this this week, so I thought it was time that I made a video showing you how you can archive without really archiving your done Trello cards. So first of all, everybody wants to know, what do I do with all of the cards in my done list? I've got all of these cards sitting over here at the end of the week. I'm dragging things over here, but where do they go? Do I just archive them? And the answer is, yeah, you can. Um, you can hit that C button on a card and archive it, and then always find it again by clicking those three dots, going to these archived items, and you can see what was here, you can restore it back to the board, but most people don't wanna do that. There's three different ways you can use automation to clean up this done list for you. First of all, I'm gonna recommend setting a rule so that when a card moves into done, it automatically moves to your archived list. So maybe you've got a special list or board where you wanna keep track of, these archived items so that you can still see them when they're over here, but they're not cluttering your board. Maybe this is completely a separate board, or maybe it's just a collapsed list on your current board. Totally up to you. You could have different lists for, uh, you could have like a completed board that has lists of each other boards, completed cards, however you want to structure it. But where you move it isn't so much the point because you'll use the same automation. So for this example, I'm just going to use this list here. But again, remember, you can access different lists on different boards. So first of all, let's make an automation so that when I move a card to done, it automatically moves to archived. Click this automation button. It's the lightning bolt at the top of your Trello boards. Go over here to rules. And when this loads, you're going to want to click create automation. And we're gonna add a trigger for when a card is added to list done. So basically, as soon as you move a card in there, click that blue plus button to add it. Then this is where the magic happens. We wanna say move that card to the top of the list. And again, you can click this icon to select a totally different board. So if you have a board called done, you could move it over there, and name a list there, or you can keep it on this board like I'm doing and just select archive. Get rid of that board name and hit that blue plus button. This is what your rule should look like. Hit save. And now check this out. As soon as I move a card over to that done list, it's gonna actually shoot it over into that archived list. So see, notice it disappeared, and now it's sitting over here. I can still access it, everything there was about it, but it's out of my done list, it's off my radar, it's not cluttering my board. Second, another thing people like to do, and this is actually my preferred approach, is once a week, clean out your done list. So uh, you can actually see on my board, let me go over here to my, We'll just show you, we'll show it to you live here in real production here. So I have in this board, I have a list of done cards for the week, but I also have a list I call collected done. And you can see these are all of my cards from, you know, throughout the year. I sometimes have it open, sometimes have it collapsed. But the way this rule works is go over to automation and you're going to click rules. But I use a scheduled rule here and click the scheduled section. I've already got it set up, but I'm going to show you how to actually set this up where every Saturday it's going to take all of the cards in that current, like this week done list and move it to my collected done list. So hit create automation, go to add trigger and decide every whatever day you want to do this. It could be at the beginning of the week. It could be at the end of the week. It doesn't really matter. You can even specify a time if you're like, I want it to do it at 11 p.m. Very end of the day on Saturday. Click that blue plus button, and then you want to go to this move cards action, but notice you're going to have some more options here. So this is where you can say um, move each card and click this filter icon to specify which cards, and that's where you can say in list, do, 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 done, click that plus button there. So move each card that's in that done list to list, and again, you can choose another board here if you want, but I'm going to stick on this board and choose collect it done. So click that and click that blue plus button. And now look at our rule. Every Saturday at 11 p.m., we are going to move each card in the list done to list collected done. And I'm not going to save that just because I already have it saved in this board, but you would click save. So the last thing that you want to do, some people, I actually got a question from a reader about this today. Some people may want to say after a certain amount of time, I want it to move. So maybe after it's due, it's been due for 30 days or its due date was 60 days ago, so move it. Um, that's going to be a due date automation. So click this lightning bolt, go over here to rules. We're going to click due date when it loads. Do -do -do. Click due date automations. And now we're going to click create automation. And this is where we're going to choose an added trigger. And we're going to say however many days you could say, you know, the 
reader asked for a year, so you could type 365 here, or you could type, you know, maybe one day after it's due, or maybe it's 30 days after it's due, whatever amount of days you say. And then where it says before, click that and choose after. And keep in mind, this is not going to retroactively apply. So this rule, this call out out here explains this. If you have cards that are already in this threshold, it's not going to automatically do it. You'll need to go manually do that yourself. But moving forward, it will keep track of, okay, this was due 30 days ago. Now it's time to move it. And so click that blue button. And then same thing, you're used to seeing it now. Select the board if you want, or just let, select the list you want to move it to. Hit that blue plus button and hit save. And you've got your rule. So if you need to do this in bulk, the easiest thing I would recommend is gathering up all of those cards in whatever list they're in, clicking those three dots, and then you can say move all cards in this list and specify that list you want to move it in, and it's going to bulk move all of them at once. So that should hopefully bring you up to speed there. So let me know if this helps or if you have any other questions about what to do with your done cards. And make sure to take some time to go ahead and celebrate the fact that you've done these things because that's huge, right? It's not just about getting things done. We've got to actually take time to celebrate and reflect on the progress we've made. So make sure you're taking time to do that. And while you're doing that, sign up for my Trello newsletter at trello.substack.com. And also make sure you're subscribed to this channel and let me know if you have any Trello questions. See ya.